Hey Beth, what do you think about us brewing tonight? Made me tired. about a mile away from the house and what we're gonna be brewing today what we're gonna be brewing today is a grapefruit IPA got back to the apartment. I'm gonna start brewing. Alright, so here's what we got from the store. We just picked up five pounds of amber liquid malt extract. Two pounds of dry light malt extract. One ounce of Chinook hops. Two ounces of Cascade hops. Two ounces of Simcoe hops. One pack of California ale yeast. Next thing is our green. We got five ounces of Crystal 20, four ounces of Crystal 45, and four ounces of Belgian Pale Malt. Now we're gonna start brewing. We're gonna steep the grain for 30 minutes. Okay, got the water up to 160 degrees, and we're gonna let it steep for 30 minutes. So now that I have the grain in the, in the steeping water, got to turn off the heat so it doesn't keep boiling. And I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Alright guys, it's already been 30 minutes. We're going to stop that and whoa, we're going to pull out the steeping bag. Let's go ahead and grab all the grain here. How did you get here? I let myself in. This ain't my first rodeo. I understood what was happening. Pull out the steep. Cool. All right. We'll throw some malt in in just a second. Let's let that baby drip a little bit. It's time to bring it back to a boil and uh, toss the malt in. So let's turn that burner back on and get this three gallons of water with now a little bit of steep grain back to a boil. Now we're gonna throw in the malt extract. All right, time to throw in. We're gonna start off with, I'm doing it right so now. we're gonna throw in Throwing the dry malt extract. So make sure you stir that up real nice. We don't want it to boil over. Um, a lot of having too much dry uh, extract without stirring enough when you first put it in is gonna to lead to boil overs. That is a good advice. You know, we haven't even done too much with dry extract. Not a lot of liquid. You, you know, know, I heard that it's- We've done some before, but not a lot. I have heard that it is, uh, it's kind of the next step to whole grain. So it's a little bit closer to whole grain than- huh. all right. Um, good to know. Yeah, it is good to know. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, All right, guys. We're, now it's time for the light 
the liquid. This is dark, not light. Look at the color. It's, it's amber, actually. It's amber. So it's still dark. So we got uh, five pounds of amber liquid malt extract to throw going in right now. And this is also pretty equally important to stir. Uh, not so much because of boil over, but because you don't want this liquid malt extract sticking to the bottom and burning, boil, you know, catching too much heat too quickly. Um, you know, in full disclosure, it has happened to us a couple of times. Luckily, not recently because we did learn from our mistakes. Except um, it did happen with the red IPA, so. Oh, I wasn't there. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Uh, it's Tyler's fault. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, just don't want you know burnt malt black flakes in there. So just keep this stirring while you're putting it in, and probably a good like five minutes after uh, until it starts to dissolve into the wort, which is what this is now becoming. It's two. All right, now we're gonna start the boil. We're gonna boil for 60 minutes. Throw in some hops at 60, 15. 10 in 5 minutes and then we'll cut the boil off. Alright guys, like the Chinook winds from the north, the hops are going to come in from the top into the boil. Ah, hop aroma. Alright, so 60 minutes we'll keep these in here for. Um, so the next hop addition, which will be which will be Cascade, will be at 15 minutes. All right, so we got Cascade here. Um, let me just chop that up. We're at 15 minutes, as James said, and it smells really good. Can I get a whiff of that? Uh, it does. That's what he said. So, uh, third hop edition, which is Simcoe. It's uh, a little more pungent than the Cascade. Still citrusy. Uh, but yeah, third hop edition at 10 minutes, guys. And that'll be all we have for you folks until the five minute. All right, guys, last hop edition at five minutes. Cascade. Okay, so we got some more Cascade. Um, some more floral aroma hops here. <laughs> now we gotta throw the cold water into this bucket, throw some wort into the bucket on top of that cold water, then throw the wort chiller in with the copper coil and let it cool down. Get it down to 70 degrees. James is going to pour the beer into our two gallons of extra water. And there we go. So we got to put the copper coil into the bucket. And here it goes. And then what we're going to do is turn on the faucet and let the cold water just run through it. All right, now we gotta pitch the yeast. All right guys, on the mound today, we've got Adam throwing out the first and last pitch. Of... Not yet though, not yet. Oh, oh, oh. So first we gotta take out the copper coil. Yes. So the beautiful copper coil, it saves us a lot of time. What pitch have you been working on recently? Oh uh, yeah, just the California Ale. Alright, here comes the California Ale. Okay, so, got the California Ale yeast. And... We got the California Ale yeast. And we're going to pitch it and then give it some air. And hopefully it'll start fermenting in the next, say, 24 or 48 hours. 
showers. Wind up and release. Whoa, that was quick. That was great. Oh, because you got to break it. You had to break it? I broke it. Okay. <laughs> it just slipped out. And now let's aerate a little bit. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for joining us on another episode of The Brewing Workout. The Brewing Workout. <laughs>